back to another episode of Minecraft Medium Core. I've got this whole area lit up finally, and my fan is going crazy. Sorry about that, but um, I've got this place all lit up now, and it is interior wall is done, which we completed in the last episode, and. Uh, as I brought up in the last episode, I noticed that it was getting much more difficult to obviously get in and out. Ugh, don't look at that from the outside, it does not look good. But it's much harder to get in and out now. So, I want to get an elytra as fast as possible. That's probably not going to happen in this episode. But the goal of this episode is to finally expand this and get the librarians in place. And let's see how many villagers we have over here. And my god, the fan on this thing is... Just back and forth, back and forth. How many villagers are in here? Just four for right now. So, I'll need quite a few. I need at least one mending. Um, well, not at least one, only one. One mending, preferably an unbreaking some kind of protection, and then feather falling would be nice uh, for the first four. But anything that's useful I'll take, because I need to get equipped in this episode. That is my goal, to become fully equipped with diamond armor. And I think I have enough diamonds for diamond sword, so diamond sword if I can. And yeah. I'm going to get work on building a spot for the librarians, and then we'll start carting them over. I've got plenty of emeralds built up, and I've got all the stalls in place for the villagers that I had ready. Actually, I think I have one extra stall, but I don't have the extra lectern to go with it. But that's fine. I should hopefully be able to get that over time. So I figured what I'd do is I'd get the first villager on camera. Yeah, I do have a fifth villager now, so that's... That's fine, I'll, I'll have just enough stalls then. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll get the first villager on camera, and then from there, I'll... Well, I guess I'll just work on getting the rest of them. This is going to be a royal pain, as working with villagers often is. Six emeralds for infinity is really good, but I don't want that. At least, not right now. Oh, actually, I should have kept that there. That's fine. Let's just get all this into place. Always gotta plan ahead, yet, you know. What's next? Channeling? Nope. Thorns 3 for 22 emeralds. I'll actually take that. That's good. That'll come in handy. So that's one of the many. I'll go... Actually, I've got a lot of stuff to drop off, so I'll go drop some stuff off. Come back, get the rest of the villagers. And I guess I'll do a little little show and tell of the books I have chosen for the villagers I have because obviously I won't have enough to get everything I want but Thorns 3 is a good start because that's something I can put on every armor piece so that's one less thing to bother with I would like to be able to enchant them before I anvil stuff together though so I'll need to Keep that in mind. Ah, uh, yeah, that's fine. Oh, also I have to get more books, which means I'll have to wait for more sugar cane to grow. So that's gonna be either I'll go out and get more, it might be faster to go get more. Alright, I've got my five librarians. Uh, 
And I think I still have some spare villagers in the chamber. Yeah, looks like I've got one or two. So I'll be able to get more librarians in this episode, but I can quickly just go through what I've got. I've obviously traded with all of them to make sure they're locked in, but first off, I've got Thorns 3, not a bad price uh, either. That's the one I got on camera already, so you've already seen that one. But just a quick reminder, if you weren't paying attention 30 seconds ago. Next up, for 12 emeralds, we've got Unbreaking 2, so even though it's only Unbreaking 2, it's still pretty cheap. That means it's only 24 for Unbreaking 3, which is not terrible. I have certainly had worse. I've got 17 emeralds for Sweeping Edge 3. It wasn't my first pick, but it's not terrible. I've got 12 emeralds for Respiration 2. Again, not a bad price for only level 2. And then lastly, but certainly not least, in fact, this one is the winner. We've got... 12 emeralds for fortune 3 of course i've already bought it so what i'm actually going to do now is no actually i have enough iron at home i'm going to go home and i'm going to put that on my diamond pickaxe so that i can finally toss that fortune 3 iron pickaxe or just use it until it breaks but this is a much, much more important find than any of the other books I could have gotten, save perhaps Mending. Because Fortune 3 will be our guide to richness. Is it in this chest? Yep, Fortune 3. Efficiency 4 diamond pick. Let's see, I need 3 iron blocks. There we go, Anvil. Efficiency 4, Fortune 3, Diamond Pickaxe. Isn't she a beaut? Well, that's some good progress already made, and I'm only halfway done with the villagers. I want to get another 5, which means I've got to get grinding out sugarcane and, and emeralds. So that I can actually trade with them. But I'll be back when I've got the remaining five. I've got my last five villagers. Well, I shouldn't say last, because there will probably be... Actually, there will definitely be more over time. But I've got the five villagers that will round out this episode in place. First one's actually the best one. This is the first one I got. Got Mending. Next one, I got Sharpness 4. Also, this Mending, well, I... This actually kind of made me sad because while I was trying to get other ones I got cheaper mending uh, but I already had a mending and I didn't have enough villagers to try and replace him so mending is not the cheapest but it's actually not a terrible price yeah mending sharpness 4 which is actually a pretty good price for sharpness 4 uh, I've got depth strider 3 uh, aqua affinity and silk touch so there's still still some books that I would like to, to get eventually but ultimately, this, this this setup isn't too bad, and I'll probably definitely get more librarians over time, though definitely not on camera, because I've already, as I've stated previously, done a lot of villager stuff, and I don't need to do more of it on camera, especially not, especially not anytime soon, since I've already done several episodes recently with such things, but... With those villagers that I've gotten, I've already been able to upgrade some stuff, at least a little bit. I've upgraded the pickaxe, as you saw, I put a fortune on it. And now it's got mending as well, not just, it's got mending as well. And I've got all these books that are ready to be used. And I think actually... I've got just enough diamonds, I can make a diamond sword. And I can s um, what can I put on this? Not putting sharpness 4 on it yet. But I can put sweeping edge 3 on it. For 6 levels, jeez. But it's a start. And then aqua affinity, thorns 3. put on my helmet. 
No, I can't. Well, I have something that I can work on putting on my helmet. That's going to be my biggest issue is getting, getting enough XP, but I can work on that in between episodes. So in between episodes, I'm going to do some trading and hopefully some enchanting. Just try and build up as much experience as possible probably between villager trading and the old-fashioned way of mining quartz. And I will... What are you doing here? Work on... Oh my god, that does a lot of damage. I will work on getting upgraded gear. So I hope you, uh... Sorry, I got distracted by slight heart attack. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Minecraft Medium Core, and I will see you in the next one.